Hello my friends, today I'm gonna show you how to make a powerful future funk drop like Ellis. We're gonna start by making some of those cool LFO chords like Ellis always does. First let's just create some nice basic chords using a saw layer. Now guys, we're gonna add a volume automation for the chords that looks like this. As you can hear, this creates that wobble LFO sound that we're looking for. Now let's add some more chord layers to make the chord bigger. All the chord layers will be controlled by the volume automation. We're also gonna add a few mixing effects to make the chords even bigger and more powerful. Let's start with an EQ to shape the sound a bit. After that we'll add some OTT. Then an EQ to clean up some of the ugly frequencies created by the OTT. Some distortion and compression using Camel Crusher. EQ. A sound for some more power. And a couple more EQs. Lastly I added a fruity stereo shaper to make the chords a lot wider in the mix. This my friends is what the chords sound like without the mixing effects. And this is with. Let's also add a reverb on the chords and control it with a reverb automation to fill out this little pause in the chords. We're also gonna add a pitch automation for the chords. Now guys, we're gonna fill out the rest of the drop. We're gonna begin by adding some bass shots. We're gonna add this pitch automation for the bass shots. Guys, to fill out the space in the drop, we're gonna make a bouncy bass line on top. I use these bass layers. And I made this bass line. To make the bass bigger and more punchy we're gonna add some nice mixing effects. We're gonna start by adding an EQ, then a lot of OTT, then another EQ to clean up the harsh high frequencies created by the OTT, compression and distortion using Camel Crusher, EQ, a soundizer, and a final EQ to lastly shape the sound to exactly what we want. Lastly I added a fruity stereo shaper to make the bass a bit wider. This is what the bass sounds like without the mixing effects. And this is with. We're also gonna quickly mix the sub bass to add some more power. We're gonna take it from this. To this. To do that we're gonna add distortion, OTT, sound judizer, and an EQ. This is what we have so far guys. I think it sounds quite decent so far, but I want the bass to be more punchy, so let's add some FL Studio stock bass guitar sounds on top. Let's also add a few mixing effects to make the bass guitar hit as hard as possible. This is the drop so far without the guitar bass. And this is with the guitar bass on top. Now my friends we're gonna add a lead on top. But first, I would truly appreciate it if you subscribed and turned on post notifications. I have a lot of exciting videos planned. I added this vocal sample. And I controlled it using this volume automation. We're also gonna add some vocal shots on top. and control them using the same volume automation. Let's also add a pitch automation for all the vocal lead layers. This is the drop so far without the vocal leads on top. And this is with the vocal lead. We're also gonna add this percussion sample to make the LFO layers hit harder.
Now let's lastly make a groovy drum pattern with some clean effects. We'll begin with a drum beat. After that let's add some nice air candy effects. And lastly a down lifter and a couple crashes. Finally I was done with the drop guys. Before I show you the full drop, I would truly appreciate it if you checked out my new ADM sample pack called Adrian Benson's Essentials. Link is in the description. If you get the pack you will get 6 FLPs, 280 samples, and 150 serum presets, all made for future house, bass house, slap house, and deep house. If you liked the video please be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys.